You won't believe this. Our own Casey Mado, the Nigerian born Minister of Justice of Alberta <laughs> province in Canada, is in trouble. He left Nigeria, but Nigeria did not leave him. Nigeria remained in him. The man got a traffic ticket of about $330, Canadian dollars, not even the real, real thing. Instead of paying the fine and going on his way, living his life, he allowed the Nigerian in him to take over. He did that thing that we do well. Do you know who I am? <laughs> do you know who you are talking to? <laughs> no, no, no. I, I will... I will I will call your boss about this, you know? I will deal with you. Go and report yourself to your publisher. I could see from your face before you got here how stupid you are. <laughs> now, these are symptoms of Nigerian big men. You know, that came out of Madu. Casey Madu must have thought for a moment that he was in Nigeria. He may even have thought himself to be Malami. Ha, Nigeria, Santa Nigeria. You know Malami? Yeah. That one that ordered the IG of police to transport 500 policemen from Abuja to Lagos <laughs> in a night bus to lock up the gate of Magodo Estate where Evans used to, the kidnapper used to live. Isn't it? Wasn't that? Yeah, yeah. Yes, that one. So, residents of Abuja were furious that the attorney general who called the police chief over a $300 traffic ticket. <laughs> I said 300 dollars fake dollar I mean Canadian dollar traffic tickets. <laughs> ticket. <laughs> they don't understand that it's the spirit of the Nigerian big man in Mado that made him make that infamous call. How can a mere yellow fever, you know, give a ticket to a whole attorney general? <laughs> Mado just has to make it clear that he is the law and the attorney general. But unfortunately, he forgot that, you know, he's in Canada. <laughs> that move has caused him to be suspended from his position and to rub salt into the injury. He still has to pay the $300. Uh, of course, of course, Mado is saying that he did not call the police chief to discuss the matter of his ticket. <laughs> That's what no, they call it in Nigeria, medicine after that. Now, we hope that they forgive him. After the investigation, that they will clear him and he will return to office, you know, hopefully. He will learn that as an African in a high position in, the, in America or anywhere in the West, you don't have to just be very careful. You have to be seen to be very careful. Sasha! <laughs> Tweet that out. Let others see it. You don't have to just be careful, very careful. You have to be seen to be very careful.